From Brad and Angelina to Sting and Drew Barrymore, more and more celebrities are pouring their star power into wines. Well, let's face it, some of them are in it for the money. Mm -hmm. But I think the serious ones really love the product. And the public is guzzling it down. They want a little piece of a celebrity and a bottle of wine is a nice way to get there. But let's keep it real. Are any of these wines any good? Wine Spectator Magazine's expert taster, James Molesworth, poured us a few, starting with Brangelina's Rosé. We uh, gave this wine 90 points. We thought the quality was there, the, the flavors are beautiful, it's fresh, it's delicious, it's an excellent wine. Molesworth gives high marks to wines from Sting and Francis Ford Coppola. And he says South African golfer Ernie Els really hit a hole in one with his Cabernet. Black currant plum, mm -hmm. it's dark, it's smoky. There's a lot of richness here. What about the other celebrity wines, though? What does the typical wine drinker make of them? We found our answers at a blind tasting of celebrity wine at k &L Wines in Hollywood. Rocker Dave Matthews' Cabernet was a hit, as was Italian tenor Andrea Bocelli's Prosecco. Drew Barrymore's Pinot Grigio also had some admirers. Good minerality to it, um, but also a, um, a really sort of richness, a rich flavor to it. I liked it. But not all fared so well. Some found ex-porn star Savannah Sampson, Sangiovese, unappealing. I'm not enjoying eight at all. Eight, this is eight right here, and in fact, there's a, there goes eight. <laughs> and what about Brangelina's highly sought after rosé? It was pretty unremarkable. It didn't have much of a nose for me, and, um, you know, it just was not real flavorful, no. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's, it's lighter than what I expected, but it's really sweet and nice, refreshing. Fergie's Fergalicious, a red blend, also polarized the tasters. Terrific. The red blend.